Hello fellow YouTubers, Mac in VR here, and welcome to my channel dedicated to all things gaming in mixed and virtual reality. Today we're checking out Assetto Corsa Competition and playing wirelessly on Oculus Quest using the virtual desktop app. So let's dive straight in and remember, we're born to respawn. Not a lot of people know this, but I got into VR initially just to play sim racing. The immersion of wearing a VR headset, the scale and depth of field absolutely transformed my sim racing experience. I've sunk many hundreds of hours into Project Cars 2, mostly doing time trials, perfecting my racing line and eking out that extra ounce of speed to shave milliseconds off my best times. In the GT3 class of Project Cars 2, I had many top 10 times, and you know me, I like a nice top 10. I haven't featured any sim racing on my channel before as there are a lot of creators out there who are dedicated to that type of content. Channels like Jimmy Broadbent or Gamer Muscle regularly turn out quality videos on this subject. Go check them out after watching this. What I wanted to do today, however, was fire up virtual desktop, dive into Assetto Corsa Competition to see not just if it worked, but if you could also be competitive because it's no fun if you can't win, especially if you're me. If you're unsure on how to set up and use Virtual Desktop, I have made a full tutorial which I've linked in the description below. Go check that out if you need help getting it up and running. I'm going to record ACC on the Index using OBS, and then I'm going to record Quest gameplay using the built-in recorder to show as accurately as possible what ACC looks like running on the Oculus Quest. Just a little problem to get us started. I I couldn't start ACC from the game tab of the virtual desktop menu. I had to start Steam VR from the tab on the bottom left and then press the right Oculus button and start the game from there. I don't know why, it might just have been my setup. Did you have any problems starting ACC from the virtual desktop games tab? Please comment down below. I recorded this gameplay with the stream app showing on OBS so that you could see my latency which held steady at 40 to 45 milliseconds. This seems to be slightly higher than average, but my play space is in the man cave at the bottom of the garden and I have to use power line adapters to get the internet there, which accounts for the relatively high latency. I didn't feel that this latency affected my gameplay, however, and I was still able to place my car accurately on the circuit. I don't feel that I had any collisions or accidents because of it, so I'll say this, latency did not affect my ability to play this game. We'll talk about sound next. ACC on the index sounds absolutely incredible. Now, as I've talked about this before, the Quest audio solution is very poor, but I've recently purchased these earbuds from Amavision and they help increase the audio by leaps and bounds. They're only 16 pound in the UK and I would definitely recommend you pick up a pair. So with these buds installed, the audio finally holds up on the Quest. Double downshifting then diving over the crest of Paddock Hill Bend has never sounded so good. Moving on to graphics, and I have a great comparison shot to show you. I've got a run on both these cars coming out of Surtees, heading down the straight towards Hawthorns. The car shown on the left is from the index footage, and the car on the right is the footage recorded by the Quest. It clearly shows that while the index footage is sharp, clear, and with realistic reflections, the Quest is less sharp, a bit more muddy, and showing very basic reflections. But just for clarity, both games are running on the same graphics settings, with super sampling at 120%. However, there is a suspicion that Steam VR super sampling isn't applied when using virtual desktop, so that may account for the less sharp image. In this sequence, you can see that the index has superior draw distance. The cars look great, trackside details are sharp and in focus, whereas the Quest is again less sharp with reduced detail on the cars, and the middle distance looks a bit muddy.
Does the reduced graphical fidelity affect playability? Well, once up and running, I soon forgot that the Quest was less graphically well endowed and soon engulfed in playing this great sim racer. That feeling of approaching the start finish line, waiting for the green flag, listening to the engines of your opponents blaring, and then trying to squeeze past 40 GT3 cars through Paddock Hill. It's amazing however you experience it. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. Car on the right. Three wide. All clear. Three wide. Is the Index a superior solution? Yes, it is, but it's also more than twice the price of the Quest. Is ACC playable on Quest by a virtual desktop? Yes, it is perfectly acceptable, and the only way you'd really notice any difference would be if some Muppet did a direct comparison video and posted it up on YouTube. Oh, I'm the Muppet. <laughs> Sorry. Virtual Desktop is such an amazing little app. It should definitely be on every Quest user's shopping list if you have a PC, which is VR ready. And once again, the Oculus Quest proves what a versatile little beast it is. What do you think? Have you played Assetto Corsa Competition using Virtual Desktop on your Quest? Don't forget to tell us your experiences down in the comments below. That's all for today. Feel free to share like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.